hundred years ago, one of the most important social and political upheavals of the 20th century took place in Mexico. The Mexican Revolution, which started in 1910, was not only significant because of how it shaped Mexico until today, but also because there's a rich history of women soldiers that my guest, Anao Bustamante, has studied and featured in art form. Many women became soldiers or soldaderas in the rebellion and came to be known as Adelitas. A woman named Leandra Becerra Lumbreras, who lived to be 127 year old and earned the distinction of being the oldest person alive, was also the last survivor of the Mexican War. She died this past March. And my guest, Nao Bustamante, had the chance to meet her. Now is an associate professor of new media and live art at Rensselaer Polytechnic, Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. She has an exhibit entitled Soldadera at the Vincent Price Museum in Southern California, uh, starting in mid May and I'm um, very pleased to welcome her to the program. Thank you. I'm really happy to be here. Thanks for joining us. Well, this is a little known story here in the United States um, to hear that there were these women soldiers fighting in the Mexican Revolution. So can you shed some light um, for our audience? I had certainly n you know, never known that this was happening. In yeah. what capacity were, were women part of this war? Well, they were actually there in every capacity you can imagine. I mean, I think a lot of people imagine that they were sort of uh, supply lines workers, you know, people who were there um, uh, supplying food, supplying um, care, medical care. But they were also on horseback. They were also fighting. There were also women who were leading um, different, um, you know, groups of, of people, both men and women. Uh, the woman um, that you spoke of, Leandra Becerra Lumbreras, who uh, was a wonderful spirit. She just passed on March 19th, but I was able to meet her before then, and I was able to go film with her and her family. And she... Um, said that she fought with tortillas as opposed to fighting with weapons. Hmm. So she essentially was leading a group of women who were traveling um, alongside battalions of men and women, and they were preparing food, caring for the children, and sometimes they would go ahead or behind of the group and set up camp, and they would take with them miniature kitchens with them. So miniature stones and miniature pots and everything so that they could prepare food. They were carrying whole kitchens on their backs. They were, um, they were foraging for wild food. They were hunting, and they were essentially feeding the army. 